What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are making a pretty amazing recipe. I know you guys are going to love this. I actually had someone make this for me at the Subzilla event and I tried it. It was so good. I asked them for the recipe and here we are. We're going to make this live on the channel. This will be a perfect snack if you're trying to find something that you can have around the house that's going to satisfy those cravings without really breaking the calorie bank. This will be perfect for you, your wife, your husband, your kids, whoever you want to make this for. So if you guys are ready to get this epic recipe video underway, then as always, I'm here to cook for you. Let's do it! So real quick, I'm gonna go over all the ingredients you're gonna need for this. First off, you're gonna need a whey protein powder. I'm gonna be using the Pure Bollocks Pure Whey in Milk and Cookies flavor. It's gonna help add some protein and some flavor to this recipe without adding too many calories. We're also gonna need some stevia. This is a baking blend of stevia. It's gonna help all these ingredients bind together and stick to the Chex Mix so we can make excellent puppy chow. And then instead of getting regular chocolate, we are doing semi-sweet chocolate chips. If you can find chocolate chips sweetened with stevia, that'll be a better option. But unfortunately, my grocery store didn't have them. So semi-sweets, definitely putting our best foot forward here, working with what we got. We're going to need a pinch of salt, which I'm going to be using Himalayan pink sea salt. You guys know I love this stuff. We're also going to need some PB fit powder. PB2 also works. This is going to help give it some really good flavor as well as keeping those calories low. Once again, we're also going to be using some Jif natural peanut butter to help some of the ingredients bind and stick to the Chex Mix to make this delicious. And then one of the most important ingredients, you're going to need yourself a rice Chex cereal. This was a little cheaper than the actual Chex brand, so we went ahead and went with this. But the exact same macro is literally the exact same thing in different packaging. And then this is an optional ingredient. You don't necessarily have to have, but if you can find it, it'll add a little bit of flavor. This is imitation butter, or they also call it butter extract. So you can use this too. I will go over the exact quantities for all of these as we move through the recipe. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing you want to do is get a mixing bowl and we're going to combine the chocolate and the peanut butter in here and put them in the microwave. So we need 32 grams of a natural peanut butter or two tablespoons if you're not using a food scale. I just like to be 100% accurate with these. So I'll go ahead and throw this down in here. There we go. Perfect. 32 right on the money. The next up, we're going to be adding in 50 15 grams of these semi-sweet chocolate chips. Once again, weighing it out, put a little bit in my hand. Bingo, 15 grams. Now let's take it to the microwave. Now the goal is, is you want to get these melted. You don't want to burn the chocolate, but you want it to turn into like a liquid consistency. So what I normally recommend is starting with 30 seconds, depending on the strength of your microwave and ramping up from there. So I'll go in, place my mixing bowl in here. We'll start with 30 seconds. And then what we'll do is as needed, we'll look at it, see if it's the consistency we want. Then we'll keep going for 15 seconds, 20 seconds, whatever we need to do to get it the consistency we need. And I think we are good to go. Get a look at that. As you can see down in there, it's pretty melted. The chocolate chips haven't separated yet because we still got to stir it, but that's the consistency you want. Ended up taking approximately about a minute and 10 seconds to get to this consistency. So let's keep this going. Now we're going to add in our pinch of salt to this, which is just one little turn. There we go. And then we're going to take a quarter teaspoon of our butter extract. Like I said, you guys don't necessarily need this ingredient, but it'll add a little bit of flavor if you're trying to maximize this recipe. So quarter teaspoon. There we go. Add it in. And then once those are in here, you can go in and stir it all up. And as you can see here, that chocolate is perfectly melted. You want to blend these in together as much as you possibly can. That way it's an even coating on all the Chex Mix we're making. And boom, looks good. Now what we need to do is add our rice bits down here into the mixing bowl. So it's called for two cups in total, but we're gonna do one cup at a time. There we go, we got one cup, so I'll go ahead and put it in here and then slowly take these and mix them up, being careful not to crush the actual Chex Mix themselves. You wanna get an even coating on as many of these as we possibly can. You need patience with this part, more so than any other part, because it's really easy to crush these fragile little guys, but you want them to come out the other end looking spectacular. Patience is a virtue. And then once you get your first cup decently coated, we can go ahead and add the second. So pour this in here, there we go, and add that in as well and continue stirring. And boom, we have these all mixed up. As you can see, and even coating throughout, but we're not done yet. So we're gonna sit this off to the side and move on to the next step. Now we're gonna mix up our powders that we're gonna toss these with. So this is gonna call for one scoop of protein powder. Like I said, I'm using the Pure Bollocks Pure Way. I absolutely love this stuff. And the milk and cookies flavor. So we're gonna put a scoop down here in our little mixer. And then next up, we need one serving of a peanut powder, two tablespoons or 12 grams. So I'll go down in here, use my little tablespoon measuring thing, toss that in there. Add a little more to reach that weight. And that is 12 grams right on the money. And then last, but certainly not least, we need three tablespoons of this stevia baking blend here. Zero calorie sweetener, all natural. Absolutely love this stuff. So we'll go in here and do one and 
two, three. Now you might be wondering why I'm using a Tupperware container instead of a bag. I realized we were out of baggies. So if you have a baggy, quart size or larger, that'll work a little better for this, but we're working with what we got. So we're gonna snap the lid on and shake this powder up so it blends together. And once your powder is mixed up, we're gonna go ahead and take about half of it. You can eyeball this portion. We're gonna dump it right in here on top. Nice, slow and steady. Boom, and I'd say that's probably half right there. So we'll go ahead and set this off to the side. We're gonna do the same thing we did before, slowly but surely mix these up and let that powder coat to all of these. Once again, patience is a virtue here. Do this nice and slow, that way you don't crush any of these and they still remain in their nice little bite-sized finger food quantities. Nothing's better than a little finger food, as mom always liked to say. And once these are evenly coated, what we're gonna go ahead and do is take what could be a bag, but we're using a meal prep container. We're gonna go ahead and throw the rest of these down in here, dump them in there nice and slow. This is really gonna to make sure we finish this off with these being as thoroughly coated as possible. So we're gonna take our lid, put it on here, and then shake it up and check out the finished product. Look at that, we have ourselves our protein puppy chow chocolate peanut butter bites. I'm telling you guys, the consistency of these things, when you hold it, it literally feels like a muddy buddy. Is that what they're called, Grant? I think so, yeah. Well, like when you buy when you buy the Chex Mix, like flavored snack candy things, except it has about a quarter of the calories, if that. So let's go ahead and give these a live taste test on air for you guys. So go ahead and take one here. All right, you ready? Three, two, one. These are a delicacy. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. I'll do one more. Mm. This definitely gets the double seal of approval. Holy crap. And just so you guys can get a second opinion on this, I'm gonna have Grant try him. <laughs> there he is. All right. We need an honest review. I'll uh, give you my honest opinion. Okay, so, not, we, you know. so we got our protein little bites here. There we go. And you are a uh, dieter, fitness guy as well, yeah. so, you, so you can appreciate a good macro recipe, right? Oh, definitely, and this will help my little bulking goals going on. So. There we go, have these around to snack on all day. Mmm. Right? Those are so good. Aren't they though? Yeah, honest opinion, these are awesome. Go, go ahead and give yourself as many as you want there. I'll just take a quick handful, no. <laughs> Good though, right? Really good. Definitely, you guys are gonna love this. How would, how would you rate it? For a diet fitness food, nine out of 10. Nine out of 10. Easily, awesome. easily. Awesome. Double seal of approval for double. sure. Wait, let me do a double. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. So as you guys just seen, even Grant approves of this recipe. I'm telling you guys, that is amazing. We were actually talking about it before we filmed this clip. If someone brought those to a party and was like, hey, I made puppy chow and didn't tell you it was healthy, you would have no idea that was a healthy recipe. So awesome recipe. And I think you're gonna like it even better once I read off these macros. So in the entire recipe, there is only 550 calories. That is nothing in the grand scheme of things if you really look at it, especially there considering there's probably like four servings there. You can munch on it all day. And if you ate that entire thing in one sitting, that's quite a bit of food. From a macro breakdown perspective, and the entire thing, we have 23 grams of fat, which you're getting a decent amount of that from natural peanut butter. You're also getting some of it from the PB2 powder that we used. And then from a protein standpoint, you have 27 grams of protein, which for a snack food is really good. And then 68 grams of carbohydrates, which is still pretty low, especially for something you keep around the house that you can munch on. If you compare this to potato chips or anything like that, the macro ratios are way better here. So 550 calories, definitely something you could fit into a plan very easily. And also something if you had laying around your house, if you just kind of had a few here and there, it would be pretty negligible in the grand scheme of things from a calorie standpoint. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all the ingredients down in the description box below in case you guys wanna screenshot them, you wanna make this yourselves, as well as some of the prep instructions down there too. So check those out. And like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're trying to do more recipe and kitchen style videos on this channel lately because those are the videos you guys seem to watch. So if you enjoyed this, hit that like button, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button as well. That way I know what videos you guys wanna see and all that good stuff. So thank each and every one of you for the support. If you have any suggestions or ideas for a recipe video, you can shoot me an email, rj at RemitiJsFitness com. Send me a link to the recipe if you want me to make it on the channel. And if it looks good enough, I will do just that. Or comment down below with healthy recipes you guys would like to see because we are always trying to improve the channel, always trying to make better content and consistently just keep this uh, train a rolling if you guys get what I'm saying. So thank you guys so very much. And as always, don't forget to smile, remain positive and pay someone a compliment because you never know whose day you can make it better with that. I'm out here. This has been a Remington James production and I'll see you fine ladies and gentlemen at the next video. See you guys.